This, of course, is the unit broken down after I uninstalled it, finally got it disassembled. So hopefully this will help somebody in how to get one apart or how to put one together. Uh, these are the old parts. I've got my new parts. Hopefully you can focus in on that. Uh -oh. Childproof. Originally, this part is in here. You can see a seal inside there. This is what made it almost impossible to get this thing off because this thing was encased in rust inside. If you were to get it apart, you might find this attached to the motor clockwise on. Had some fun getting that off. This is actually what had broken. This is where it normally is with encasing around it. Get those parts. Oh, they are the little pieces that broke that would normally hold that onto the impeller, which should. Well, really. Double sealed. Okay. Ah, uh, nice. There's the new one. And you can see where that part would have been in there. Extremely used. The old seal, the new seal, which, yes. Honestly, don't know what this part is called, but there's our new one. Beautiful. Much cleaner. So that will go in there. And that, that, I'm actually going to set that on there. Hopefully, that'll flatten out that seal. So, and this should be my new seal. Oh, yeah, there we go. No instructions. Of course, assume you know what you're doing. I do not. Looks a lot better. There's that seal. Honestly, I have no idea where those two might go. There's nothing like that in the original motor, unless that is rubber and that is rubber. Okay, I'm going to leave the old one on for now. I'm going to just give you a quick rundown of how this goes together because once I put the new parts on, I don't want to have to take them on and off, except for this. Clockwise. Nice. Uh, out in the middle, if you do have trouble getting this off, there is a cap on the back. Until I have my tool ready. Cap on the back of the motor. You should be able to the screwdriver in there. You can see I had a little trouble, but it did help drastically to get my impeller off because when the impeller was broken, I was able to put a wrench around this to get that off. So I'll put my cap back on, I'll keep that sealed, dirt doesn't get in there. Okay, so of course normally, and again I'll use the old parts here. I'll set this up on here just so I have a little height on it. That'll work. Okay, 
the original seal is in here and you see that's gotten quite stretched out and of course it had the original cone in there I'll pull this out for simplicity just so I can show you all what it looks like together without completely there we go okay so when I'm under the house and I'm tearing this thing apart get this back together yeah okay so basically looks like that you have your four bolts in the corners that hold together this of course was my water runoff to go into the pressure valve so when I first got it off all I could do is get this open and I was trying to pull in here stay okay yeah so that was fastened up against this so well right in here I couldn't even tell there's a gap there so I was trying to pry against this extensively with everything up to including pry bars on both sides would not come off because that's what I was going at the wrong spot what you're going for is up here and again this is painted after it's sealed at the factory so you did not see this gap right here I just thought this came off it didn't this is where you're trying to break it bearing again see how it goes in there this is the motor side old seal plate which again I've cleaned up extensively I could do better but that's what the inside plate looks like inside of the motor which still runs fine beautiful motor Clean this up a little bit. <clears throat> Didn't think it was that necessary, but the new kit came with this washer, so I'm going to assume that is a replacement for that one. But when you are reassembling it, the new washer would go in there. This plate goes back on, and I was curious. Nope, that would not affect anything. Okay, so that would simply go on there like that. It's just metal against metal because your seal is out here. Your new seal would go on here. Impeller, oops, bearing, or seal, I guess you call it. Seal would go on there. I'm assuming you would snug that down by hand pretty good. Nice, of course. This will go in here. still don't know what these two parts are this is a rebuild kit for this unit so yeah I have no idea there was no extra parts came out of the unit so I'm not sure what that's for but this will go back on and of course the bolts should pull everything together that looks like a big gap there of course this is my own addition this is not part of the original pump show the name there really good there is your RJS 100 by Red Lion I installed this six years eight months ago <coughs> until a couple days ago uh, although the mo motor was running fine smooth as anything because it's mounted underneath my house uh, but no water coming out of it so <clears throat> there's no pressure again this is I'm guessing this is just gonna be really good seal against there uh, the vortex as I found uh, told the name of it this part I uh, was unable to get out, did not come with a pair of kits, so unfortunately I didn't force it. Uh, it is plastic, so I didn't want to pull it out. It looks in good condition, the seal around it looks fine. 
uh, so I decided not to not to mess with that so anyway um, they recommended a rubber mallet when I was trying to get this the head off of the motor assembly uh, did not he said well if I use a regular hammer I would probably break the impeller impeller uh, and I would still have to get this off uh, he was correct I did break the impeller uh, the rest of the way it was broken before I could tell by the rust on the edges of these pieces that were in there that they had been part of it had broken off some time back uh, it just took a little while for the rest of it to break so that was my problem so we're going to stop this one here uh, yeah so I can prepare for the actual final assembly um, can't think of anything else offhand that should give us a good breakdown again the new seal gorgeous uh, Again, motor end, impeller end. So this will be resting against that and create a good seal because that is the size of the seal inside there. Uh, onward. <laughs>